Defend yourself against DDoS attacks by hiding your true IP address with ExpressVPN. And visit my custom link expressvpn.com slash gillymaster in the description to find out how you can get an extra 3 months free. Hey everyone and welcome to another GT Online video here on the channel. And in this one I want to discuss body armor. Yes, the feature that has been in Grand Theft Auto since the very early days. However, I gotta say that body armor is a scam in GT Online. And I'm about to show you exactly why I feel that way using nothing but facts and logic. So body armor in the older GTAs was a pretty big deal. If you had full health and full armor, you felt like a tank. It essentially doubled your health. In GTA 3, you can see you get 100 armor, which matches that 100 health. And I can run around taking a bunch of bullets from enemies. There were also ways to increase the amount of armor you got in the older GTAs. In San Andreas, for instance, if you completed, I believe, 15 levels of vigilante missions, you got a permanent armor increase. So every time that you pick up armor, it would now give you even more protection. In GTA 4, it's the same way, it doubles your health. I can tank a bunch of bullets from enemies with armor on. It takes them a good while to chunk it down, which is partially due to them having Stormtrooper aim, but even when I do get hit, it just doesn't immediately disintegrate my armor. Which brings us to GTA 5's armor, and uh, yeah. Even super heavy armor gets depleted in like three pistol shots, it's not good. So my friend Ender and I performed a little experiment here. How many bullets from a service carbine will super heavy armor, the best you can get in the game, protect you from? And the answer is basically two. After two shots, I had just a smidge of armor left that's basically negligible. So for $460, that's the price of super heavy armor, you protect yourself from a little over two bullets from an automatic assault rifle. And let me just stress the point again, this is the most expensive, most protective armor tier in the game, and it's only two-ish bullets. Which means the others are just gonna be even worse than this. But here's the real kicker. I had him shoot me three times in the chest with no armor using the same rifle to serve as carbine. Three shots, which is, again, even more than the armor could take. And I healed up the damage using just two Ego Chaser snacks, which are available for free. And you can hold 15 of them as opposed to 10 body armor. Two free snacks gives you the same protection as the best body armor in the game, costing over $400. Talk about useless. And looking at the other body armor types, super light armor, I mean, that's just entirely useless. I mean, I don't even think you could tank a pistol shot with that amount of armor. Now look, in PvP, I can understand why armor doesn't give you a whole lot of protection. You can spawn it in next to you from the CEO menu, and you can hold 10 of them on your person at once. So if it gave you, like, double health, that would be a bit busted and everyone would just spam it. You know, obviously, having something in the game that just effectively doubles your health to drop at your feet anytime you'd like with no cooldown would definitely, definitely be abused. Luckily, we surely don't have anything like that in the game. Jokes aside though, I do get it. Armor is overall a lot more common in GTA Online, so it makes sense why it's weaker in PvP compared to older games. And in PvP, it does allow you to tank some one-shot weapons like the Heavy Sniper or Railgun, so it does have its uses. At least, super heavy armor does. As for the others, yeah, useless. However, in PvE, just look at this, the cops are shredding right through the armor with pistols and long-range shotgun shots in a matter of seconds. I guess they went with a more realistic approach to armor, where it only protects from a couple of shots, just like it would in real life. It wouldn't stop, like, a whole magazine of AR rounds. It would be compromised after the first couple shots. But to me, it's just a strange choice to then pair that system with a snack healing system where two snacks heals you for the same amount of damage that a full super heavy armor protects you from. That costs 400 times more. That part just doesn't make any sense to me. Another flaw with armor in G10 line though is the storage system itself. So as you guys may know, in the San Andreas Mercenaries update, Rockstar made it so that when you equip body armor from the weapon wheel, the quick way, it will prioritize certain armor to be used depending on how much damage you've taken. So let's say you have full armor and you get shot once. Well, it's not going to use a super heavy armor, it'll use one of the lesser ones to fix that small amount of damage to not waste the better armors. The problem with this, as you may have already put together, is that you can only hold 10 armor, so obviously you're going to carry 10 of the super heavy armor, the best armor. In which case, if you were to use another armor after being shot just once, it's just going to use the super heavy armor anyways. You can't really take advantage of this change because who in their right mind is going to carry around the other shit tier armor types that take up the space when you can have 10 of the best armor? I don't know why the armor limit is still the way it is now. When you get gifted armor for Christmas, for example, it maxes out each armor type in your inventory at 10. So you can hold 10 of each when Rockstar gives it to you. So it's clearly possible to hold 10 of each, but for whatever reason, we can't. If we could just hold 10 each, then that change would make sense. But right now, it just doesn't. I do think two things need to happen. One of them for sure. 
let us hold 10 of each armor type. That's just a given. That gives a reason for the other ones to exist in the game because no one's purchasing them voluntarily, except for maybe like a level one who just got the game. But even then, armor is no longer rank locked, so you can just purchase super heavy armor from the get-go regardless. And that would make the change they made to the quick use armor actually be useful to the players. And the second thing is either armor needs to decrease in price or they need to increase the amount of protection you get in PvE from using armor. Because it having the same amount of protection as two free snacks when it costs almost $500, that's just silly to me. I do have another concept for armor that I thought about too that I want to go over. What if instead of giving you just another health bar the way it works now, is they made it so each tier of armor has a durability and the amount of bullets to break and a damage resistance amount along with a movement impairing amount. So for example, let's say the super light armor gives you a 5% damage resistance amount for the duration of the armor, which is 30 bullets. So after getting shot 30 times, the armor breaks and you lose that damage mitigation. And how this would show in the UI is the armor bar would now show the durability. So each time you get shot, you would take health damage, but less of it because of the damage resistance you're getting. And the armor bar would go down to show that the durability is decreasing with each time you're shot. Then for light armor, let's say it's 10% for 50 bullets, standard 15% for 60 bullets. And once we get into the heavy armors, heavy armor would be 30% for 100 bullets and super heavy armor would be a 50% damage decrease for 120 bullets. But the heavy armor types would put a movement penalty on you just like the heist armor while the armor is active. So you wouldn't be able to run at full speed. And maybe they could even throw in some explosive damage resistance on the heavier armor types. That's just an idea I thought of that would give each armor type a more distinct personality in the game, but it's unlikely that that kind of change would come to GTA Online. They'd have to balance the game around that entire system. So maybe in GTA 6, they're going to rework how armor functions, hopefully, or at least make it more useful than it is in GTA 5. As for GTA Online, though, I'd at least like to see them take away the 10 armor limit and decrease the price across the board. Just allow us to carry 10 of each type. I don't know why that hasn't been implemented already and decrease the price by maybe 50%. Let me know what you guys think about armor in G10 line. Do you agree with the changes that I have proposed? Not the concept one, but being able to hold 10 of each type and the price decrease. Or do you think armor is fine the way it is? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more G10 line content. I want to give a huge shout out to my friend Ender for helping me record for this video, as well as to all my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, Thanks for watching, and have a great day.